All right, in the next video here, I'm gonna show you how to use the manual input feature within the Dropship Analyzer software. And I have to admit, I think this is my favorite feature, my most favorite feature of the entire software. This is really fun to program and it's pretty cool. And not to mention, it's pretty powerful. So in the manual input, you have some options here. So basically what manual input means is you can manually insert all the express product links in here and you'll actually extract out the same data out of here. But before I get into that, I wanna talk about the browser option. This is cool. I wanna show you what inspired this idea. So inside of the Dropship um, Center in your AliExpress uh, account, you'll see there's a search by image here. And you can upload an image that you found somewhere of a product and AliExpress will show you matching products so that you can go in and kind of compare sellers. But the thing is, they don't give you much data here. Like they just give you some orders, ratings, and nothing else. And you can analyze each one, but it would be so nice if you can actually see all of these products inside Shop Dropship Analyzer and get all that other data in here, including those charts. Well, I figured out a way of doing it. It's pretty cool. So check this out. What you do is you click the browser button and there's a built-in web browser. And this web browser uses the brand new Microsoft Edge browser engine, which is really good, to be honest. It's just as good as Chrome, if not better. So pretty wicked. And along I, the way I built this was very simple. So there's not like a really big glorified web browser or anything like Chrome. It's, it's very simplistic. But what you have here are some built-in default bookmarks on the left-hand side, and you can add as many as you want. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And then what you do is you can just browse in here. So let me show you what I mean. So let's actually demonstrate how we could use the search by image. So in here, I've included under AliExpress is search by image. So if you just double click that, this is gonna take you on over to the actual search by image page. Now, if you're not logged into your account within Dropship Analyzer, it's gonna ask you to log in. And in inside this, uh, integrated web browser, I made it really easy for you to get access to your username and password by this button up here. So if you click this button, you can copy the saved username and password. And if you haven't saved your username and password yet, just click on open settings. And in here you have the option to save your username and your AliExpress password. And please note that your password is completely protected. It's, it's encrypted within the computer, so no one can like steal it or anything like that. So that's just for you. Of course, you don't have to do this. You can do it manually if you'd like to just enter it in yourself. But if that's there, it's nice because now I can just go copy and then control V, copy, control V, and now I can log in. So now it's gonna log me in. And if you're already logged in from using other features of the software, like the search, then you actually won't have to log in. But if I go back there and click on that again, you'll see it brings you automatically over to the search by image. But now we're inside this integrated web browser. So this is the exact same thing as we did over in Chrome, but now we're in the integrated web browser. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that same image again. I have it saved here. And now it's gonna do its thing inside the web browser. But there's a little engine going on in the background and you can see down here that the software automatically detected there's 48 product links on this page. Well, check this out. This is so cool. All you have to do is click that little, I just wanna put it to the side so you can see in the back here. If I click Extract Links, boom. It added all those links into that manual input window. Now I can click Yes if I'd like to just close the web browser and start analyzing these products, or I can click No and I can keep browsing. And I mean, it doesn't actually matter where you browse anywhere on the internet, any web page. If that web page contains AliExpress product links, this browser will recognize them and you can always put them into there. Now, think about that for a minute. I mean, what if you have access to a product online that does AliExpress product research, like a membership site? Log into that membership site using this and you can extract those links out and put them in here. It doesn't matter where you are. It's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and just close this and click Analyze. This part does take a little bit longer because I'm actually doing two extractions per product. I'm extracting the data 
from the hot selling section here, this data, and I'm also extracting the data from the analyze section. So now you're getting all that data for those products that we found by searching by image. Pretty cool, eh? So if you want to stop extraction, just click this little stop button up there and everything will just stop there. And now we have access to all that data that we did before that you do not have access to when you're inside the dropship center. So you can see how just awesome this tool makes it. It's pretty cool. But I don't want to stop there. Let's have some more fun here. So I'm just going to clear this out by clicking the clear button. And also going to clear this out. You can also save your links if you want. If you want, you can save them to text files here and import them if you'd like. But let's continue on with the browser and let's look at some other things. Now, when you go to the AliExpress homepage, which is not taking me there, so you can actually just type it in here if you want. So let's do that. So on the home page, oops, just click that out of there. There's always lots of cool stuff that you'd like to investigate in here. Like they always give you some wicked like flash deals. Like you go to categories, you do all sorts of crazy stuff in here. Like say for example, I want to take a look at flash deals. You can click on that. And I'm <clears throat> I'm just browsing here and automatically you could see it found 11 products already. And if I start scrolling down, you could see it's starting to add up. 33 products. Now, if I go to say health and beauty, and these are the flash deals that are going on right now or home and garden and you can see it's automatically finding them and all I have to do is click extract links and boom and there they are I can click yes to continue or to I'm sorry click yes to close it down and go over here but I want to continue so that's you can basically browse anywhere on AliExpress and start extracting products and then analyze them in here <laughs> so it's pretty awesome but check this out they actually have a top ranking section on AliExpress that nobody really knows about, but I bookmarked it here. So let's double click that and bring you to the top ranking. And in here, you've got, excuse me, a ton of such awesome stuff to research. I mean, look at this. For, whoops, for each category, you can click on each of these categories, say, and let's go to home improvement. And then here you got all these different subsections they give you all the time, like top selling for some sort of lighting, Top selling, more top selling, keep going down, most popular based on interests, top picks. I mean, it, there's tons of stuff. So all you have to do is just click, say, click on here, top selling, and it gives you the top 10 top selling products based on monthly orders. And guess what? You can get all 30 of them right now. Boom, just like that. We added them in here and now we can go and research those products. It's pretty awesome, right? I also have weekly deals bookmarked here as well. Of course, you can come in here and edit any of these bookmarks, delete them, do whatever you want. It's like any other bookmarks in a web browser. And so here you can see there's 290 weekly deals. At the click of a button, just like that. 290 products, click analyze, sit back and relax and watch the software analyze 300 products that are on weekly deals right now. Talk about a pretty awesome way to start spotting products that people, you know, can't find. Like there's so many other people, other dropshippers using these tools. Well, I figured out a way to find products, different methods that they're not using so you can get ahead of the curve. Let's take a look at something else here. We can click on popular. You'll notice on every single AliExpress website, web page, I should say, if you go down to the very bottom, you're going to see this uh, browse by category and you'll see all popular product promotion, all this stuff here. Well, <clears throat> if you just click on all popular, it comes to this page. And from what I can see, these are all popular search terms for every main category. And all you have to do is just click on one of them. So fabric, poplin, whatever that is, I'll click on that. And it's showing the um, most popular results for that keyword in here. And guess what? I can extract all those out and boom, here we are. And we can go and extract them and, and research them just like any other page on AliExpress. But 
I mean, look at that. You can go through all these different popular products, uh, popular searches. Another cool thing you can do is you can search using Google. And I've conveniently put it right here. So you can just double click here under Google and you automatically go to google.com and it puts in a search term for you for searching for items on AliExpress. And it's just gonna return um, links from AliExpress, but you see there's 26 million. So it's obviously a good idea to narrow down your search. So all you have to do, I made it really convenient, just to do a space and do a double quote, another double quote, and inside those double quotes, just search whatever you need to search. For example, like um, mug, like a coffee mug or something something like that. And then you can do another double quote inside there and say um, like mothers. Whoops. Something like that, mother and mug. Click search. Just found 28,000 on AliExpress that has the word mug and mother in the item. And here we are at the bottom. You can see it found 22. So all you have to do is just click extract links and boom, now you can research products that we found on Google. I've also included one for Bing, because you can do it on Bing as well. So you can do the exact same thing here as well. So let's say Mother's Day. They found a bunch of items, found six of them on this page, so I can add those as well. Now I can go and research all of these products. So you can see just how powerful it is because you can get data from pretty much any website on the internet as long as there are AliExpress product links somewhere in that web page that integrated browser will find them and you can research them using the dropship center um, data within dropship analyzer so like I said you could think of this software kind of like a glorified web browser with some pretty wicked neat features that you don't get in Google Chrome or Bing or anything else. Sorry, not Bing. Um, I meant to say Microsoft Edge. <laughs> there we go. So now we can come over here. Now you got to realize that some of these products may be discontinued. So sometimes data isn't um, given. So you can see some of this data is not coming out because they've been discontinued. But you can see the power of this is just absolutely incredible. Now to modify the stuff here, if you want to add more bookmarks, it's pretty simple. Like say, for example, you wanted to actually bookmark this exact search term, this, this search. All you have to do is click that add button at the very top and whatever's in here, it will bookmark. So you can um, put like Mother's Day Mug Bing search. And you can put it into a folder if you want. If you don't, you can actually create one if you want. So I can just call it Bing, create bookmark, and it creates it and puts it in there for you. So if you ever want to use it, you just double click it and boom, there you are. Now, if you want to, like say, if you want to move around, you can move around stuff too over here. So I want to put this Bing product search in the Bing folder, just left click and kind of drag it over top the folder and I'll put it in there for you. And if you right click, you can create bookmark, edit, delete, create folder, expand, contract, you can also go back to default if you like default um, bookmarks note that when you do that you lose all your bookmarks so it's uh, be cautious with that one and you actually and you have access to all those controls down here as well or right click it's fairly self-explanatory very easy to use and that's pretty much it here and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching